my name is Karen Urbanski. I have to practice that because I just got married in November. And two times this week, thank you, I introduced myself to two different policemen. Hi, I'm Karen Allen. How are and I went, uh-oh, no, I'm not Karen Allen. I, and they thought I was crazy, which I just might be. Um, I'm an elder in the United Methodist Church. I was ordained in 2008, and I started the process in uh, my first church. I started serving in 1993. Went to college for the first time when I was 30. So you guys are in really good shape going early and getting things, finding out what you want to do. Can I, because I'm not sure who's who here. How many college students? Any Penn State students? Yes, okay, I want to talk to you. Come see me. All right, how many high school students? Seniors? Juniors? Sophomore? Freshmen? Okay, excellent. I just want to know who I'm, who I'm talking to. Now, the scriptures say what? You shall love the Lord with all your... So many times we think about heart, soul, and strength. We worry about what we do with our bodies. We worry about our emotions. We worry about the things that we're concerned about. And do you ever think about loving the Lord with your mind? Loving God with your mind, learning all that you can, and that when you go to school, when you go to college, when you go to high school, you can honor God in that. Hello? Yeah? Yeah? That's one of the things I want to um, really just talk to you about is the importance of loving God with your mind while you're at school, particularly when you go to college. Uh, one, of the, one of the parts of my job is that I go around, uh, by the way, I'm, I'm called, um, let's see, I'm an associate pastor at St. Paul's here, and I'm the director of the Wesley Foundation. The Wesley Foundation is the United Methodist um, Campus Ministry. We're all throughout the country. And part of my job is to minister to students, which is really, I have the coolest job in the whole world. It's so much fun. We have a good time together. And at the same time, I had a, a young lady who thought she might have had breast cancer last year. I just helped a young lady who was in an abusive situation. Others who are trying to figure out what in the world am I going to do with my life and different problems that come up, even to the point of, oh my gosh, I miss my dog. Here I am at college and I feel so lonely and my roommate does things that you don't see on MTV and I don't know how to live with that. No, you laugh now. <laughs> Wait till you get there, okay? Now, what the Wesley Foundation is, or if you have a college ministry of some sort, at Penn State, there are 62 different religious organizations for you to choose from. Choose wisely. Who was it Warren just said about, well, you can't be a pastor because you're a woman. You can't do this, or you can't do that, or hey, let's tell you about some other religion that you don't even know about, and we'll tease you for it, and you come and be with us. And so college is a place where you spread your mind, you, you, you give your mind to God, and you learn new things. You're challenged in things that maybe you're not being challenged in now. So what I want to encourage you to do is to, when you go to school and if you're in school, find yourself a good Christian fellowship. If you need to find one, you remember that you were here and you ask anybody on staff when they call and say, I, I want to talk to the, the woman that took care of the students at Penn State, all right? And I will help you, I promise you. I don't care if you're in Texas. I will help you find a place where you can love God. You, there's so much. How many of you in high school think that there's peer pressure? college students tell them about peer pressure in the next four years or six years or eight years. Tell them about it. Be honest about it. Because, and, and you know what? Adults in this room, tell these kids about peer pressure when they're 30 and 40. And Yeah, you, you need to make choices and, and, and find those places that are going to help you to make the best choices that you possibly can. 
any of you who are considering going to Penn State or one of the colleges in this area, will you please see me after when you have free time? Because I, I really would like to tell you about what, what we do. We, we bribe college students to come and visit us. We give them food. There's, there's, there's no better way to draw college students than say, here, we have a free coffee shop. It's right down here. It's open to students all the time. And, and we just offer food all the time because we know they'll come. But is it about food? No, it's about Jesus Christ and offering him and, and helping students to grow in Christ wherever they are in faith. When kids go to college, guess what? Some of them have never heard Jesus Christ except for, well, as a phrase. Some have been in church and they can't wait to escape from their parents and their parents' church and their parents' faith. And a lot of times what they do is they find places like Wesley Foundation or campus ministry of some sort where they can say, wow, this can be real for me too. Some grow deeply in college. Some lose their faith altogether. But God never lets them go, does he? And he never will. And he never will. So do you have any questions for me? Um, I never wanted to be a campus minister. That's all I want to be now. Um, I, I always thought I'd be a, a local church pastor in a small church somewhere in wherever central Pennsylvania. There's a lot of wherever central Pennsylvanias, aren't there? And I, I just figured I'd always be that, that pastor of a two or three point charge and was really shocked when I got the call, Karen, we want you to be um, Wesley Foundation director. And I said, what's that? And I, I asked, why do you want me to do this? I'm not qualified to be a campus minister. And I think it's because I do dumb things like jump for no reason and, you know, have fun and love the Lord. And so, like, like Warren said, and I, what is your name? I don't know you. Mission Central. Rob. Thank you. Um, you never know where God's going to take you. So don't go walking through life and think, I know exactly what I'm going to do. Just let the Lord take you and do the very best you can in everything you do as you're going along the way. Just make sure you're in God's will as you're doing that. Sound cool? Okay, no questions. I'm so disappointed. Somebody, please, ask me a question. What? What kind of car do I drive? I drive a Hyundai. Last night I was out at Tussie skiing, and we were going to try to get three teenage boys with their snowboards in the back of my Hyundai. I'm glad they found another ride. Okay, all right. Thank you very much.